all and welcome back to my channel drunk crafts with Paige I am Paige and today I am drinking another black cherry lemonade because they taste so good in today's video we're going to be moving on with more acrylic pour techniques that I have not tried before and I actually received a bunch of supplies for my birthday from my fiance and I am very excited to crack into them get some paint on them get them all dirty and see what kind of paintings we can come out with so if you guys are interested in seeing what we're gonna do this week then please stick around so all of these mystery supplies came to me in a kind of foggy bag and now I am the proud owner of a bunch of strainers <laughs> um, I have like seven different strainers now and I have seen different acrylic pour videos where people use these to pour the paint into them and the different designs um, the sizes the holes in each of these strainers kind of dictates what the pattern will come out like and they will seep out kind of like our open cup pour um, so I am anticipating a lot of cells um, a lot of stacking of color. I am super excited. I have no idea which one of these I'm gonna choose. Like, this one's got a little like dude hanging out in it. Um, I might just choose one at random and we might have to do several videos with these because each one of these is gonna turn out differently. So, I am excited to grab some paint. I'm gonna pick one of these and we're gonna get started. So we have our canvas ready. I have all my paints mixed up and I already added the silicone. I'm starting to remember. And I have picked the strainer we are going to use. And it is this one, this beautiful flower. It's got some like holes in the center. It's got some slits on the side. I am excited. So I'm gonna start with just a little bit of white already in the center. Maybe a little bit more than that. I'm going to set the strainer down in it. Woohoo! And we are going to start layering paint. So I've chosen a bunch of blue colors uh, because I recently sold that beautiful uh, like icy split canvas Dutch pour that we did. And I had a lot of requests for more blue colors. So I've got a bunch of blue mixed up and that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna do So there's dark metallic blue. lighter color blue. This one's kind of a, a teal. And then some gold. We're just going to wait for a second. You can kind of see all of the colors coming out. Swirling it around a little bit, kind of helping the paint move. We're going to add some more white. And then continue going. just a little bit again. Ooh, it 
looks cool. We're gonna do another round. We're gonna end it off with more white. And that's all the paint I mixed up. So we're gonna wait just a little bit to let the paint kind of continue traveling out of the strainer a little bit more. It is super cool. All of these lines, like the slats on the side, just kind of made like a, a wave. So I'm going to go ahead and try to scooch it around a little bit more again. Make sure I got all my corners. But we're gonna hit it with the heat gun to pop these bubbles that are left in the middle from the strainer and hopefully we'll get some super cool cells to show up. You guys, it's so cool. It's like a beach vortex is what this makes me think of. When the gold is not like glossed up, it looks really brown. And so I think normally if I had added gold to this, um, I would have been a, like, I don't know, if it turned out sort of like this where it's, it looks more brown, I would have been a little disappointed but it makes me think about a beach. And I know that once it's glossed up uh, and when the light hits it, uh, that gold is gonna look so cool. I am very interested in trying some different strainers, seeing the different patterns that come out of it. This is so cool. So I'm gonna leave it to dry as per usual. Um, when it is totally dry, I'm gonna gloss it up and we'll take you guys outside to see what it looks like all finished up. All right guys, so I am outside, which means it's time to see how our super cool strainer pour turned out now that it's all glossed up and done drying. Here she is, you guys. So many cool cells popped up on this painting. And you can see the metallic sheen now from the gold. But I still think the color combination still reminds me of the beach. And I really like it, especially uh, the pattern that came out with the strainer. It kind of makes me think of a seashell, like the curve of a seashell. That could just be me. But I think that with this strainer, it turned out super cool. And yeah, it's given me some major beachy vibes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I am super excited to try out some more of these other strainers to see what kind of patterns we can get out of them. 
Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, we also have links for my Facebook page, my Instagram, and my PayPal if you feel like contributing to the channel, all linked down in the description box below. See you guys for the next video!